Hello everyone and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Murderer. Now apparently this is supposed to be a game show kind of thing about being a murderer apparently. So I'm going to put in Lawfer Quinn. Because that's my name. And we will see what happens. Warning, sensitive content, simulated violence, aberrant decisions ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome one and all to the twisted spectacle that is our game show. Today, my dear viewers, we have a most intriguing cast of characters lined up for your entertainment. But enough from me. Let's dive straight, let's dive right in and meet our first participant, shall we? We shall. And now, from the bustling metropolis of Chicago, where truth is a commodity bought and sold, we welcome Sarah Thompson, a journalist dil diligently seeking the ultimate scoop. Good evening, viewers. Let's have some fun and games, shall we? God, this keeps... For the Concord Jungle of New York City where dreams come to die, we have the enigmatic Richard Greystone, a man whose legal prowess is matched only by his moral, moral flexibility. <laughs> Greetings, esteemed guests. With great pressures that I grace your screens in the present, let the game begin. Next up, straight up from unknown with the skull and determination of a true gamer, our wild card participant. Greetings, folks. How you all doing? I don't like your face. And of course, our final contestant needs no introduction, hailing from the foggy streets of London, where whispers of the occult echo through the night. We have the inscrutable Edgar Darkwood, a man whose secrets are as numerous as the stars themselves. Greetings, mortals. Let's embrace the... I didn't read the last part. And there you have it, dear viewers, our motley crew of contestants, each with their own dark desires and ambitions. Ready to do battle in this arena? So sit back, relax, and prepare yourselves for a journey into the darkness of madness. Let the games begin. Yes, let's let them begin. Welcome to the first phase of the show. This is where we separate the wheat from the chaff. Or the chafe, I don't know. The knowledge seekers from... Didn't read that last part. In this round, your gray matter will be put to the test. Never correct answer will swell your coffers by a handsome 10k. Now, the further ado, let's dive into the depths of the unknown, shall we? I said this before, we shall. Your question awaits. What is the name of the mysterious phenomenon in which groups of people exhibit collective and hysterical behavior, often leading to outbreaks and irrational behavior of violence? Mass hysteria? Yeah! Let's go, buddy! Mass hysteria, where the only thing more contagious than laughter is fear. Remember, folks, keep calm and carry on unless everyone around you is losing their minds. Time to shine, Richard. Questions here. What ancient torture method involves tying a person to horses and pulling them apart in different directions? I am so glad I did not get that question, because I do not know that. Blank. B, drawing, quartering. Impalement. And D, quartering. I feel like it's quartering. Yeah, that I I would guess that. Yeah. Drawing and quartering, where the only thing more torn apart than the victim is the rule book of human decency. Talk about a stretch goal. Ha! Huh. Oh, you're a catch host. Ah, Sarah, here's the question. What is the name of the infamous prison known as the Devil's Island? That would be Alcatraz? Sing Sing, Alcatraz Sing Sing, Revan Island and Devil's Island. Why is everyone getting it right? Yeah, come on. I need to win this one, you guys. Alcatraz, where the most incorrigible of souls were banished, earning it the title of Devil's Plague. You gotta slow down. You gotta slow down. I can't read it. Would that be the yoke or something? The rack. It's the rack. That's what it is. Resident Bull, Iron Maiden. Nope, that's the rack. Never mind. I know it was just like a simple word like that. Oh, you idiot! Wrong! You get enough! The Rack, a marvel of medieval engineering, turns stretching exercises into a spine tingling experience. Who knew pain could be so flexible? <laughs> I didn't. And with that, we will be taking a short break from our sponsors. But don't wander off, my lovelies. When we return, it's time, to time for a bloody experience. A bloody exciting game up next? And remember, there's no cutting corners here. Well, except when it comes to the minigame. With a knife, of course. <laughs> Isn't that just nice? My dear contestants, we're off the air for now, but fear not. If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. That I do. Just don't keep me waiting too long. I 
I'm going to go piss real quick. I'll see you later. Hold on. I'm back. <sighs> All right. Oh, wait. I could turn that CRT effect off. Oh my god, that makes it so much easier. That is so much nicer. Oh my god. Alright. So, are you ready to continue? Or do you need another moment? I'm ready, host. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping tip. Snowy's Wish, an intense boss battle to the last snowball against Santa Claus himself. Yours to enjoy? Absolutely free. Is that one of his other games, maybe? Now it's time for our first mini game of the evening. We're let's see if they have what it takes to handle a little knife play. Oh god! Either rules contestants will have nearly seconds to score as many points as possible. They must touch the table with the tip of the knife, avoiding any mishaps with their hands. Oh god! Are we playing um? What's that game called? It's you know the one where you go like. Ch -ch 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 Oh my god. Come on. Please don't stab yourself. No! Come on. Come on. Yeah! That's right, buddy. I, I know how to not stab myself, even though I did do it once, I guess. I'm the goat. Am I the goat? Who's the goat? Me! I'm the GOAT. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the moment you've been waiting for. The first elimination. The unfortunate result will be bidding us to do tonight is none other than... Richard! Oh, God. What? What happened to Richard? He can't really be dead, can he? Those screams, whatever. Now the game truly begins. Edgar, you're such a jokester. I love you, man. We're diving straight into our second round of questions. Where the contestant's moral fiber will be put under the microscope for all to see. Every answer in this round will earn you $10,000. So feel free to speak your mind without any inhibitions. Let's see who will rise to the occasion and who will falter under the weight of their own conscience. Get ready for some thought-provoking questions, folks. Oh, I'm ready. Ah, here's the question. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're back. I had an audio glitch and we lost some footage. Nothing really happened too much, but, I mean, hey, that's why I need a new PC, you know. Um, but, yeah, all that really happened is that um, Sarah's gone, Edgar's still here, and I don't know if you guys saw the other guy die, but he's dead. So, now me and him are left in the final round, and apparently I'm going to need a rifle for this one, so that's not great. I'm ready. Let's do this. Excellent. Let's dive back in. Okay, we're just going to skip this. It's just another game. I mean, who's the fool paying us to promote these, right? I wonder. Ladies and gentlemen, an esteemed finalist, perhaps by now you've grasped the essence and purpose of this spectacle. In the initial phase of questioning, we tested our contestants' knowledge, then their courage in the knife minigame. In the second phase of questioning and voting, we probably the morality of player the goodness regarding eliminate blah 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 blah. In the final phase of questioning, we assess whether you know the method and if you've made it here. We have all the cards on the table for to be, to be true. That just lagged. Action! And so, in this last phase, you'll be armed with a rifle in 30 seconds of time. Whoever manages to take out the most people from the audience will be the champion. Oh my god! You guys should not be clapping. Oh my god, this is so bad. Dear lord! I mean, I'm not complaining, honestly. Yep. Get down, everyone. Alright, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes! 
Oh my god, yes. I mean, honestly, I probably shouldn't be celebrating that. But thank god. Alright, folks, it's time to announce the winner of tonight's thrilling episode. But before we do, let's give a round of applause to our bright contestants for their, erm, um, valiant efforts. Oh, yes, let's. Yay me for killing everyone in the audience. No, please don't do this. I'll do anything. I'll beg. Nope! You're out of here. But remember, this victory isn't just about the prize. It's about the journey. The thrill, the hunt. The adrenaline rush of the kill. And let's not forget this sweet, intoxicating scent of blood in the air. So without further ado, let's crown our murderer and bid farewell to yet another exhilarating episode of... Thirty-nine?! How do you get 39 kills? <laughs> All right. Well, that was Who Wants to Be a Murderer. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.